Hi, today I would like to talk about C sharp and WCF surfaces. And in particular, I would be comparing HTTP versus net.tcp. So let's get started. And uh, I'm going to uh, basically show you some things that I've already prepared for you. So it will make it easy. So let's just get started with HTTP. So we have a project which has an HTTP service and the HTTP service is pretty straightforward. I haven't done anything special. So when you create a new project, uh, you can just uh, create a new project and uh, you will get the standard methods, get data and all, get data using data contract. And the only thing you want to make sure that the protocol that is being used is HTTP. So I'm going to uh, just show you that it is the case. And let's just do it using uh, WCF configuration. So it's pretty easy to see uh, the information. So we have an endpoint called HTTP and uh, the configuration you can see to get the metadata as max HTTP binding. And so that's pretty much uh, what this is. And uh, you can uh, run this and you we can see a test client being created. And uh, you can see this HTTP test client is being created at this port and see uh, this is HTTP. So I can just run this get data and invoke it. And you can see when I put in a value, it says you entered zero. And that's because just the standard method basically takes whatever the input value is and returns this thing. So you can see this HTTP is working. I have the uh, net TCP and this basically the same thing, same methods and everything else standard. The only thing that is different here is if you look at the protocol, uh, the protocol is going to be net.tcp and here see you can see the binding is net TCP binding which is a different type of binding which can be very useful if you are doing uh, things in the intranet uh, within your company or somewhere. Uh, and let's just uh, quickly check to see if this is working. So if I just start a new instance here, if I start a new instance, uh, you can see this is a net.tcp binding, net.tcp binding, and we can run this method here. And if we run this method, uh, we should just get, get you entered zero, and that's good. So that's uh, all uh, fine and dandy. So to exercise these two uh, libraries, uh, one of the things I have done is I've ad added a small console application and I'm going to show you what the console application looks like. Uh, the heart of the method is basically I have a, a static method where I can just get a, a service HTTP client and uh, within a loop, I'm just calling this method get data and uh, 10 times just to compare. In net.tcp, it's essentially similar. The only major difference is I'm calling object.nettcp get data. Here you can see it was object.http. Here we are getting our nettcp client. And uh, so the way this uh, works is uh, I have something which measures it. You just send it uh, a function and a prefix. So it will print saying this uh, method, uh, how long it took. And in the end, I'm just doing console.readline so we can kind of wait and see what happens. So if I start this console program, let's just uh, start it right now. If I just start it right now, you can see the net TCP uh, time elapsed is 674, HTTP time elapsed is 109. And if I start it again, the net TCP time elapsed is 631 and HTTP time elapsed is uh, 101. All right, so to make the test realistic, what I did was take the uh, program.c sharp and I can show you what I did uh, is uh, basically uh, ran this in the five times a loop, measure HTTP and net TCP, both the results and see what we get. So if you look at the results, uh, HTTP timing appears to be higher for the most part over net TCP. And uh, so this is a, so if you want or looking for high performance within an intranet uh, environment, I would recommend considering net.tcp net and also giving it a try. So if you want to know more about uh, this and other technologies, you can basically search for Gaur Associates and uh, you will find these and other uh, videos. Uh, 
and thank you for watching this short screencast. You have a great day.